Hi everyone! So today I thought I would go for a bit of a controlled pour. Um, I want to paint a, a fish. <laughs> As like some of you have seen, I went to the aquarium and um, there were some really nice fish, uh, really nice colors, and now I want to paint a fish. So what I'll do is just pour a blue background with a little bit of white uh, in between and then I'll pour my colors in this and hopefully it won't come out too muddy but uh, I just want to use the tip here to really put the colors where I want them to be and if it doesn't like resemble too much of a fish I may come back after with a paintbrush and just outline or maybe even a paint marker uh, but I'll see about that and see how it turns out before I get ahead of myself <laughs> so for that I mix my paints the usual way paint medium water I use a GAC 800 as medium as you can see I have an empty bottle here um, for the heavy body paint, it's 50-50 paint medium, then 25% water. For the fluid acrylics, it's 30% paint, 70% medium, about 10-15% water. And then the high flow acrylic is just uh, one part high flow acrylic to 10 part medium and then a splash of water. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll zoom you in and get started with that. All right. So, start with the blue. This is manganese blue hue. For uh, the colors I've used, they're always in the description. So, if you don't remember, you don't have to come back. Uh, you can just check the description below. This is ink white, and as you can see, it's quite uh, dense and heavy. It's sinking right into the blue. Doesn't matter. I just want some just different hues for my background. And I really wanted a tin coat, but I wanted to be able to cover it all, so I'll help it out here. Here we go. Cover my sides right away, so that will be done. So that's done. Now, for the fish. I have my bottle here. And I have a color harmony, a tetradic color harmony. So four colors. I'm hoping to not make a mess. I'll pour the red and the orange to start and then I'll come back with the blue and the green together so when I squeeze it out of the bowl it may just come out the two colors at once or a gradient of color but anyway just mixed together a little bit I'll have to tilt it just a bit. I've made the... Now, I want a fish with long fins, really nice looking, um, like a bit of a butterfly fish.
And here we go. I think that's a very psychedelic looking fish, which is what I was going for. I put the fluorescent colors in there just for that reason. I think it's going to look awesome under the black light with the, all the green outlining the fish and the spiral the eye. Uh, some cells as well, uh, that surprised me. I didn't expect cells at all. I was not going for cells. I was really more going for a, a weird looking fish, colorful fish. Uh, with the color harmony, with the red, the orange, the blue, the green, and yeah, I probably should have started a little bit more on the left, but I think that not being completely centered gives it a little something. There's a bunch of details as well in the background, just smoky a little bit with the white and the blue, so we can see that uh, a little bit here. So. The fish being a little bit more on that side gives it um, room for the background. And yeah, it's a weird looking fish. <laughs> but I think it's going to look really awesome under the black light and I think it's uh, it has a style and I think I like that. I think um, I'll have to do that with other animals. Uh, go more well while it's still it's still abstract but more figurative like you can see that there's something that it's a, a fish I guess you can see that I hope but it's not like hyper realistic where it's just the, the fish looking like a picture this is really a, a fish with style <laughs> And yeah, that's exactly what I wanted, and I'm really, really happy with that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm a happy painter. And we're back. And I forgot to mention something. The second fin here, I, I really like that the paint uh, mixed in the bottle, and it came out much darker than the rest. It gives it an impression that it is further away, and that's perfect because it should be. It's the fin that's, you know, fish have two fins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, other than that, I'm really happy. If you have an animal you would like me to try, uh, leave that in the comments. I may just do it. <laughs> uh, I do these videos for you, um, so your opinion is important. Also, uh, really happy, can't wait to put it under black light, can't wait to, for this to dry. Uh, I think it's going to look awesome once dry, much darker, the colors will be sharper. And yeah, I uh, can't wait to see how the background will dry too with the zinc white. I hope it won't lose too much details. But yeah, I'm really happy with it and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, it helps, it helps me out a lot. And yeah, uh, if you want me to make a, a particular animal or anything really, a bird, a whale, a, a platypus, <laughs> anything, leave it in the comments and I may just try it. So um, yeah, on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!